Dynamic composite data physicalizations are a new class of physical visualizations that use collections of self-propelled objects to represent data. In this scenario, a committee of four faculty members meets to examine 24 pre-selected student applications to a graduate program using a Zoid platform. The president of the committee uses his iPad to load the data set containing the 24 students. The committee decides to start exploring applications by examining the grades in science. The science prof takes the tablet and assigns the science grade to an unassigned Zoid. This creates a blue magnet that attracts the students based on their grades in science. The Zoids converge to the position corresponding to their grade. Another prof asks for the tablet and creates a second magnet to which he assigns the grain math dimension. Once both magnets are positioned on the table, the committee can examine how students perform in both math and science based on how attracted they are to both magnets. Professors move the previous magnet to recognize the layout on the table. As students move to their new positions, the committee realizes that a group of four students has clustered in between both magnets. The science prof touches the magnet associated with math to illuminate the students with a shade of green corresponding to their grade in math. Then another prof does the same with the science magnet in blue. They agree that four students are excellent both in math and in science. So one of them draws an area and puts these four excellent zoids in it. Because they are selecting students for an arts and science program, they unassign the math and science magnets and create two new magnets, one associated to the quality of the cover letter in yellow and the other one associated to the quality of portfolio in purple. They quickly realize that one of the students has a very low score for his cover letter. So they unanimously decide to reject the student and place them in a container they labeled with reject. The committee realizes they can only accept one more student because it is difficult to discriminate the four most promising students in the center, a prof grabs the two magnets and place them on a scatter plot frame to signify its axes. Then he puts the student in the scatter plot to compare them more accurately. It reveals that two of them are better. To see who they should select, a prof uses the detail on demand functionality of the application while holding a Zoid to show their detailed information. They agree that one of them is overall slightly more promising and they finalize their selection with this last student. 